Hey guys, I recently had some requests to make a video showing how I create the thumbnails for my YouTube channel. And I don't have any tutorials on Photoshop yet, so I figured that this would be kind of a good introduction. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how we can create a very simple but decent looking thumbnail. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. If you're interested in learning web development, iOS, or UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design and development boot camp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. To learn more, visit devmountain.com or click the link in the description below. All right, guys, so we're going to get started, and I just want to stress that I'm not focusing on the design and how attractive this thumbnail is. Uh, it's not really anything special from a design perspective, but I just want to show you the process of creating it and then you guys can create your own stuff with what I show you. All right, so we're going to be creating the thumbnail uh, that I use for the JavaScript Mocha testing video, which is very simple and I thought would be a good one for um, to use for this this video. So what we're going to do first is go to File New and uh, we're going to set the width to 1280, the height to 720 and the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. Okay, make sure pixels is chosen, not inches or anything else. Okay, we'll click OK. And that's going to give us basically a blank canvas to work with. Now, if we look over here in the layers, you'll see there's a background layer. Okay, now we can't edit this directly. Um, you can see this little lock icon, but if we double click on it and then we can call it whatever we want, we'll say background. And now we if we double click again, we'll get the different options, color overlay and all that stuff. OK, but we're just going to leave that as white. All right. Now, what I want to do is bring in a couple images. Let me just see. Uh, right here. So one of them is just kind of a gray background, a wallpaper type image. And then we also have the Chai and Mocha logos. OK, now I'm just going to drag the background in. And by default, it's not covering the entire thing. So I'm going to hold shift and just drag it so it covers the entire uh, canvas and we can move it around, you know, wherever you want it. Um, but that looks fine. You can see it's over here in the layers. Now I want to bring in the other image two logos and I'm going to make that these a little smaller. All right, that's good. We'll put that right in the center there and then for the title, I want to have kind of a just a bar, a solid color background. Now, to choose the color, I'm going to go to the eyedrop tool right here, and I want this red. So I'm going to just click in here, and you can see the color. Whatever I click, the color will show up in this box. Okay, you can see it just keeps changing, um, but we want it that color, the red, or reddish brown, maroon, whatever that color is. And then I'm going to click on the square tool here, and I'm just going to go at the top here and it's okay if you go outside of the box okay once we do that you just want to do a right click and then rasterize layer and now you can see it's over here in our layers it's, it's labeled rectangle one so this is where I want the text to go so I'm going to click the text tool type tool whatever it is and let's just say intro oops, intro to JavaScript unit testing all right, now I don't want that color, so I'm going to just double click that and let's go up here. This is where you can choose the text color. I'm going to choose white. And you can also change the font. Uh, I'm using Century Gothic. That's pr pretty much what I use in all my thumbnails. And then for the size, let's go to 72. If you want it bigger than that, you can just type type in there, but that looks fine. OK, just make sure you place it where you want. Now, if you hold down control and you click on something, you can see over here, it's going to choose that layer. Um, I want to make this background a little bit uh, transparent. So let's highlight that and go over here to opacity and we'll just make it just a little transparent. That's fine. So uh, 92%. All right. And then I just want actually that's not really centered that text. All right, that looks good. Now down here, I just want another bar where I can put traversymedia.com. So the color for that, I'm going to choose like a almost black, really dark gray. And then we'll go to the square tool here and just go like that. Rasterize. Uh, oh, wait, why did that change? I want this to be white. All right. And then let's once again go to the type tool. 
and click down here and we'll say traversymedia.com now notice that it's under that black bar if we want to move it over we can just go over here to the layers and just click and drag it up all right I'm gonna change the size of that to let's say 30 uh, whoops there's a comma in there I didn't want that all right so let's just drag it over here and then I just want to change the color of Traversy Media so we'll highlight it click up here and let's choose the brown from the mocha label logo okay now if you wanted to change the color of let's say this bar right here we'll just highlight the layer and we'll click on it and you could go to color overlay by default it's going to be bright red but you can just <clears throat> simply change it to whatever you'd like okay there's also a gradient overlay you can choose different um, different colors for your gradient um, but we're not going to do that I do want a little border on the bottom so stroke where is it uh, stroke right here whoops that's going to give you a border around the whole thing however only the bottom is showing here the bottom border so that's all we can see which is fine and you can change the size if you want uh, I'm going to change the color to this brown and click OK all right so we're just about there um, I want also want to bring in my logo so I'm just going to go to file open actually I'll just find it through here so let's see let's go branding logo final and I'm going to bring in this white version and I want to make it really small because it's going to go down here. Okay, so we'll just put it over on this side. All right. And let's just bring these down a little bit. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, you know, it's nothing special, but this is pretty much, you know, the process that I follow to create my thumbnails. Now, what I would do is save as and you want to save the PSD because that's what's going to give you the layers over here <clears throat> excuse me you can see I already have it here and where I save everything you can see I, I have my video produ production folder this is actually my uh, Synology server the disk station and this I would put in tutorials and I would put it uh, let's see I already created the folder which is right here and then I would put this in uh, Wait a minute, that's not it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, never mind. This would be in the Mocha testing folder. Uh, where, let's see, where is that? Uh, intro, no. Where the hell is it? Oh, right here, an intro to JavaScript testing. So I would put it in the covers folder, and you can see I already have a PSD saved. So I would do that, and then I would also save a JPEG, and that's what obviously what I would use to uh, to upload to YouTube as a thumbnail all right and you can see I have the code from each video I do the captures and um, I will go over some of the process that I that I use to actually make videos for you guys that are interested but um, I think that's it for now hopefully this gave you just a, a little introduction to Photoshop for those of you that that aren't really familiar with it and um, gives you a little little bit of perspective on um, how I maintain my channel, you know, for, for those of you that are interested in this kind of stuff. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you're not, and leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't like this, but be sure to leave some feedback, and thanks for watching.